All right, uh, my name is Jeff Young, and I have a little bit different uh, perspective of being a journalist. I'm here at Harvard um, on a Neiman Fellowship and at the Berkman Center for Internet and Society. You know, my perspective is having a passion for telling stories and following people around with notepads and sometimes video cameras to do documentaries. I'm really interested in long feature stories to show how people live their lives. Um, so if you will, I mean, this is certainly not the most serious problem in journalism, but there is, if you're doing these kinds of long form magazine or documentary stories, the issue of if you're following someone around with a camera, they're sometimes self-conscious, the camera um, has an effect, and uh, sometimes you're not there, um, no matter how much you're following someone around. And so obviously when I see something like Glass come out, I'm curious about how this could be applied. Um, of course, life logging has been something that people at the Media Lab and other places have been exploring since people like Fed Cerner were first doing wearables. This is an old wearable, but the, um, the big challenge is, okay, you can record, you wear a camera, but what if you could wear a camera that could somehow know what is interesting or find interestingness um, instead of just running it all the time? And so our app that we're developing, and I'm working with Scott Greenwald, who many of you guys know is helping organize this conference, but he, um, uh, we're trying to build just a pretty simple technologically, but um, might get more complicated as we go. The first feature is super simple, just record snippets of video at, at some interval, like five minutes. Um, the, the next one can get a little more complicated, which is like on-screen prompts of kind of be interviewing people as they go about their lives. So maybe a certain number of preloaded questions, and then maybe you could use the accelerometer or other, or other uh, mechanisms in glass to sort of see when an interesting time to trigger a question would be. Anything from like, you know, what is the most interesting thing going on this hour, or, what's, um, or even just, you know, there, it might differ per the story. And then you could, other things we're just thinking about is just trying to augment what will be somewhat serendipitous video, whether it captures the right moments or not, by coaching them to actually even just record snippets every now and then. This is all something that can be done very quickly. My interest as a journalist is also just testing some of the privacy barriers and some of the other social issues raised by this technology. Um, naturally, like there's a quick slide about, you know, the quantified self is a big thing going on right now, but I have a Fitbit right now. I should be walking more to get my steps in um, on the stage here. But the, what I'm interested in is that's all numbers that like a Fitbit generates, but I'm interested in what wearables can do to give you a qualitative view of yourself. So the camera being turned on at, at these intervals and having this, this kind of, it can do what Sherry Turkle at um, MIT so has called the evocative object, which is kind of a tool that helps you think or see your story. And so the one proof case I have of this, if you've ever listened to NPR, has a series that they've done called Radio Diaries, where they give, gave people um, microphones and coach them to make audio documentaries about their own lives. And I think these were incredibly successful. I, I'm a fan of these stories. So I think this adding this kind of video and um, uh, multimedia will be a very, you know, something worth playing around with. And this is a test footage that I took. Can we, uh, do I click here to get it to roll? How do we get it to roll um, on the screen? So um, I'll take like a minute of my time to show you just a little bit of what it looks like with an early prototype of kind of think of like Twitter vines strung together with maybe some narration. Done. Thanks. I'm always curious to learn how other people see the world. That's one reason I became a journalist. And lately I've wondered, how could wearable tech help tell people's stories? My own story is nothing too dramatic. My wife and I juggle work and raising our two-year-old son. On a typical Sunday, the goal is to see a few friends and find a way to sneak in a nap. Thank you, Nick. Can I give you a lion hug? Can I give you a lion? <laughs> <laughs> Let's load you in the car. <laughs> No, 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 not that. I, no, I, no, no. Can I wear it? Uh-uh. Look at that. We're in the restaurant, okay? We're going to go in. All right, we made it. Happy birthday to you. We are all full and hopefully maybe a little tired still. I'm not tired. Oh no. Nice and quiet. We are in our basement of our apartment building and it's time for dinner. Yeah. Oh, you're going to throw it to me? All right, let's do it.
Okay, ready, go. Oh, try again, try again. So in my last like seconds, so you get the idea. We're, um, there's a website, wearablediaries.org, and we're basically just trying to run some tests on this. And like I said, I'm interested not just in the technology, um, but in the, in the, if you could have something that would be more automatic. Right now I'm kind of curating these things, obviously, and there's a lot of editing involved. But if you could have something where people could have a glass app that helped them coach them to tell their stories this way, it sort of could be an interesting application as well. Thanks. All right.